certainly thank God and praise God for allowing us to come back together one more time. I can truly say I miss y'all last week, you know, a little bit under the weather, but you know, God is good. Amen. 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 He'll bring us through. And I thank God that y'all still had a mind to come on out <laughs> on this weekend, on this week. Thank you, Lord, to be here in Bible study. And it's truly a desire of our hearts and our minds that we continue to seek God and Pray and ask him to help us yes. on every hand. Yes, amen. We need him. We need him, don't we? Yes, yes. amen. Him. amen. Especially um, in these times, in these days and times, we need the Lord. There's never amen. a time that we don't need him. Amen. Oh, amen. 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 <laughs> when you realize that you need him, uh, it can be beneficial to your soul and your spirit. Amen. 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 So as we get ready to go before the Lord in prayer, if you have a particular prayer request, and let us uh, make that known so that we can go before God and, and be a blessing. My sister and then my sister. sister. Sister Yolanda. Let us, let us pray and ask God to bless her, help her. Uh, can't figure out the totality of her request, but God knows. Amen? Amen. Amen. All right. Well, let this church to stand. Let every heart pray. Gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you, Lord, just to say thank you. Thank you. And we praise you for your greatness and your goodness and your mercy, your love and your kindness. We thank you, Lord, for waking us up this morning and starting us on our way, for giving us a heart and a mind, Lord, to serve you, to praise you, to worship you in spirit and in truth. 
We thank you, Lord, for your protection, your love, and your kindness that you have shown yeah, toward yeah. us. Thank Hallelujah, you. Lord. We praise you. We love you, Lord, uh, with all of our heart, our mind, our spirit, and our soul. Yeah. And we pray, Lord, that you would bless each and every request that's been made known to you. Yeah. Lord, you know each and every request, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We pray, Lord, that you would send your comfort, send your peace, send yeah. your power, send your deliverance Hallelujah. in the name of Jesus. We ask you, Lord, that you'll bless our Bible study on tonight. Yeah. Give us wisdom and knowledge and understanding. Give us insight. Yes, Hallelujah. Lord. Into your word, Lord, that we may receive it uh, with meekness, that yeah. we may grow thereby in the name of Jesus. We pray, Lord, that you would anoint your servant yeah. and anoint you, these thy great people, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Minister unto us, Holy Ghost. Yes. Hallelujah. Only the way that you can yeah. touch our hearts and our minds. Open us up. Hallelujah, that we may be the, come the sons of God. Thank Hallelujah, you, that you desire us to be. Yeah. Father, we thank you. Be thank and we praise you, give you glory and honor. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, it's good, uh, as we said, to be back in the house of the Lord one more time. Uh, the scripture says, enter his gates with thanksgiving. And enter in his courts with praise. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. And I want to, uh, I want you to uh, go with me tonight. Um, uh, book of Psalms. Uh, Psalm, Psalm 1. Thank you, Lord. Psalm 1. And, and in our our Bible study tonight, um, I want to focus in on uh, becoming the righteousness of God, becoming all that God desires us to be, yeah. and to help us in understanding and knowing Him. Yeah. Amen? Amen. And, and having said that, um, how can we uh, get to know and understand God? How can we get to know and understand God? And I'm putting it out there as a question. There's no right or wrong answer. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just putting it out there. Pardon me? Through his word. Through his, through his word. Through his word. I mean, what do you mean when you say that? Through his word. Through his word. Through his word. <laughs> <laughs> Contact, through, contact. Through, through contact with him, through his word, through contact with him. Yeah. Amen. My uh, brother? I think the first and foremost thing is to get wisdom. Uh -huh. That's the only way you can really understand God. Yeah. The spirit of wisdom. The spirit of wisdom. And knowing God. Yes. Yeah. And you said wisdom was with him in the beginning. In the beginning. Yes. So we, yeah. need, we need that wisdom first of all. Yeah. Yes, yes, I like that. I like those answers. Amen. <laughs> I do. I do. Thank yeah. you, Lord. Because uh, those answers, anybody else, those answers connect. The Bible says, God says, pray for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord. My sister. I think before you can even get to know God, you got to accept God. Speak about God. You got to get to know yeah. You have to accept him. If you Shut want up. to accept him, that means you are hard and open yeah. to him. Then he can reveal himself. When you can get to know him that way, you have to accept him. Yes. Yes. Acceptance and revelation, wisdom, word. And what did you say, Brother Glenn? Contact. Contact. Which we get yes. from worship. Yes. Yes. Access to him. Yes. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Contact. Yes. Amen. That's wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Thank you, Lord. And, and, and those, those answers are, are personified when we begin to meditate on him. Yeah. Amen. When we begin to meditate on the Lord. Amen. And uh, we're going to talk tonight about meditating 
Amen. Especially on, on he brought it out, the word. Amen. And what is the, he brought it out, the personification of wisdom. Amen. And being like she said, having, being led by the spirit of God and having that contact with God. Amen. And, and, and it comes to us through a level of meditation. Amen. Meditating on the Lord. Amen. All right. Amen. Good. Thank you, Lord. So let's go then. Let's go then. Uh, go ahead. Yes. Yes. Amen. Receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Amen. On Sunday. Amen. All right. We want to ask our reader to begin reading in the book of Psalms. Then, uh, and might as well start at verse number one, but, but I want to talk about tonight, as we said, the power of meditation and, and, and what Glenn said, too. Uh, uh, contact, but I want to use the word engagement. Amen. Engagement with the word. Yeah. Amen. Engaging in the word of God. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Through meditation. Sure. Engaging in the word of God. Through meditation. Engaging in the word of God. Amen. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, Elder. Meditating in the word. Look what happened. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. He shall bring forth fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, meaning that you won't dry up. <laughs> and whatsoever you do uh, shall what? Shall prosper. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And that comes through. Uh, that comes through the meditation of the Word of God. Amen? It comes through the meditation of the Word of God. That tells us that meditating on God's Word is powerful. Amen? It, 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 it connects with, with prayer. It connects with uh, 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 fasting. It connects with all things. But meditating on the Word of God is sometimes we, we forget that. Amen? We forget the power of that yeah. and the meaning of that. Amen? Uh, and then, then, then when we don't do that on a consistent basis, we don't get the results that are required. Amen? So, so what is meditation? I'm going to talk about that just for a second. Meditation, uh, it, I wrote down in my notes here, Meditation involves a deep, ongoing engagement with God's Word. Amen? A deep, ongoing engagement with the Word. Uh, and, and what I mean by that is, is that if you want to prosper, you know, you want life to be better. Amen? If you want to walk in power and authority, you have to meditate in this Word uh, uh, on a consistent basis. Yeah. You can't be in the word uh, once a week and expect to be strong. Right. You can't eat once a week and expect to be strong. Yeah. Huh? Huh? You can't, you can't uh, uh, <coughs> skip and miss and not read the word. Do everything, pray, fast, Come to church and worship, sing songs, yeah. uh, and expect and do everything except read the word and be strong. Yeah. 
Amen. You must, you must read and meditate yes. on the word of God. Amen. 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 You must. Uh, now, now notice what the scripture said. Uh, it said, his delight, notice, his happiness, his joy, is in the law of the Lord, the word of God. And in his law doth he what? Meditate. How often? Amen. And what does that mean? All the time. All the time. A continuous process. Amen. If you want to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might, you've got to be in his word continually. Yeah. Uh, day and night. Yeah. Day and night. Yeah. Day and night. Continually in the word. But not just in the word, not just studying the word, but meditating on the word. Amen? Meditating. Thinking about scripture. Throughout the day. Thinking about the word of God. Throughout the day. Amen. Hallelujah. Now. Now notice. Notice. When we do that. So meditation. The purpose of meditation. Is to gain what? Knowledge. Knowledge and what else? Strength. Revelation. Revelation wisdom. And we forgot one more. Uh, understand. Amen. Am I right? And 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 when we when we do that, when we receive revelation, you know, uh, 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 that helps us. Uh, and when you when God reveals something to you, He then expects you to do it. Am I right? Uh, Knowledge is really accumulation of, of the facts. Amen? Understanding is the interpretation uh, of, of God's word. Wisdom is what? To do it or practice it. Yes. Yeah. To apply it. To practice it. Amen? To do it. That's wisdom. Uh, I was listening to an individual uh, on... Uh, uh, He's dropping, ear hustling, <laughs> if you're not going to say it. Individuals on the phone, and they were talking, and it caught my attention about the advice that they were giving uh, to another individual, whoever was on the other end. And the advice that they were given was perfect, spot on. I couldn't have said it better myself. But then, then I said, well, uh, how come the individual... That saying it uh, isn't themselves practicing it. Huh? And the Lord said they lack wisdom. Huh? They lack the skill to do it. Huh? So you can know what to do. You can understand what to do. But if you don't put it into practice, it's not wisdom. And it won't benefit you. Amen? So you, you've got to practice it. Amen? you got to put it into practice. Now, one word that we didn't hit on that is what wisdom, or not wisdom, but what meditation does, it gives you insight. Uh, insight into the mind of God. When you begin to meditate on the word of God, it gives you insight uh, into the mind of God. It literally gives you the what, when, where, and how. Insight. You become, and when I use that word, insight, I really want to use it in the term of you become intimate with the mind of God. Amen? And, and, and the revelations of God then begins to flow. Amen? You begin to put two and two together. One plus one equals two. Yeah, you begin to understand certain things and revelations of the word of God. Uh, you begin to gain insight. Amen. And that, that word I'm using, insight, is, is a step above wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Amen. A step above wisdom, knowledge, 
and understand. Amen? Uh, you begin to think like God. You begin to act like God. Uh, come on here somebody. Uh, you begin to live like God. Amen? All things to you become possible. Amen? Hallelujah. Because God is giving you insight. Uh, insight. Amen? You don't wrestle with the scriptures. You don't wrestle uh, with sin. You don't wrestle with evil. You believe God. Yes. Huh? You got insight with God. Right. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Uh, it's a deeper level. And that only comes through meditation. Amen? When the scripture says, let this mind be in you, yeah. which is also in Christ Jesus, he's talking about insight. Uh, having the mind of Christ. Uh, having the spirit of Christ. Amen? And you have to allow it to be in you. And the only way you can allow it to be in you, notice what the scripture tells us. It talks about, uh, be not conformed, but be what? By the renewing of your mind. Uh, that you might prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. The only way you can get to that level is having insight into God. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you. Y'all with me tonight? Yes. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Now, 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 uh, uh, through Jewish faith, through Jewish faith, the word brings about life. Amen? It's everything. It brings about life. Uh, when they read the scriptures, they literally have it in their minds, I'm reading life. That's why Jesus said, you are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Life. Amen? The seed, it's a seed that brings forth life. Amen? It's a seed that brings forth, and in, in the scripture it talks about like a tree that, that bringeth forth its fruit in its season. The word brings forth fruit in your life. Yes. Yes. It's life. Life, life and death uh, is, is spoken through the word. Amen? Am I right? Yes. Thank you, Lord. Now, 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 when we talk about the word, when we talk about the word, the word, the word, the word, when you think about a word, a word conveys a thought. Amen? The word, uh, it, uh, it, 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 it conveys an image. A amen? It brings to your mind concepts. Amen? Thank you, Lord. So, so, when, I, so when the word talks about a tree, Amen. In your mind, you can imagine a tree. Am I right? Yeah. Uh, uh, when I talk about uh, uh, a hill, uh, in your mind, you can imagine a hill. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So when, when Jesus, when he communicated to us, he was literally communicating the mind of the Father. Yeah. Amen. The mind of the Father. To communicate to us the will and the desire of the Father. Yes. Amen? Y'all uh, with me tonight? Yes. All right. We're going somewhere. We're going to get there. We're going to put, we're going to put the pieces together. <laughs> Amen? Thank you, Lord. So, 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 so words can express a thought, content, ideas, and expresses images in the mind. Jesus is the manifestation of the mind of God. Amen? The manifestation of his mind. Uh, uh, and, and, and everything that is in God is in Jesus. Uh, no separation. Amen? So when, when, when Jesus spoke, it was God speaking. Amen? Thank you, Lord. And when Jesus spoke, he spoke what was the, if you allow me to say it this way, the mind of God, his will, his desire, his purpose for you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. 
So the reason why I'm saying that is, is that if you want to understand the Father, you've got to understand the teachings and the, the doctrines of Christ. Yes, mm -hmm. Amen? Y'all with me? Y'all stay with me here. Thank you, Lord. Now, now, now. Uh, uh, in the life of Christ, God was speaking to us. Go over to the book of Hebrews, uh, chapter number one. Chapter number one. Help me here, Holy Ghost. Yeah. At chapter number one and verse number one. God, who at sundry times and in divers manners, uh -huh. spake in time past to the fathers by the prophets. All right. And at one time, God was manifesting his will and his desire uh, in times past by the prophets. Amen. Y'all with me? I read. Happen, happen these times, these last days, spoken unto us by his son. Uh -huh, spoken unto us by his son, Jesus. Read. Whom he hath appointed heir of all things. Now notice, Christ is appointed heir of everything. Everything. Amen. Everything. Everything was made by him, for him, uh, with him, with, without him, there was nothing that was made. Amen. Jesus was, was, uh, 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 is not a created being. Amen. He always existed. Yeah. Yeah. Always existed. Uh, there was never a time that Christ never existed. Amen. 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 And he was with the Father. Yes. Uh, Y'all with me? Yeah. All right, read. Now, Jesus is heir of everything. Read. By whom also he made the world. Everything. Amen. By Christ, he made the world. Amen. Uh, hallelujah. Christ made the world. Amen. I right, read. Who being the brightness of his glory. Uh, now, he's the brightness of the glory of the Father. And the express image of his person. Uh, now, he's the express image of God. Huh? Thank you. No division. No separation. All right? Read. And upholding all things by the word of his power. Uh, and and, and, and now, now, now that's key. Uh, Christ has power. God has power. Amen? Uh, so does Christ. The manifestation of Jesus. Amen? That's power. Uh, thank you, Lord. All right? Read. When he had by himself uh, when he was by himself, he did what? Verse what verse three. is it? Three. Alright, when he by himself, he did what? Our he sins. cleansed us from all of our sins. Sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high. Uh-huh. Being made so much better than the angels. Ah, uh, yes. As he had by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than that. So he has total preeminence over the angels. Right. The angels were created. Amen. Jesus was not created. Uh, he has total power and authority over all angels and over all creation. Yeah. Uh, uh, Y'all with me? Amen. Thank you, Lord. Uh, let's go over here real quick. We're going we to get to my, my theme scripture. Uh, let me but, but go over to the book of Colossians. I believe it's Colossians 1 and 17. Thank you, Jesus. What I'm trying to do is get you to see why we should study the life of Christ. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? Hallelujah. Yeah. Uh, What's the verse 17 say? And he is before all things. What, what verse 16 say? For by him were all things created. What verse 15 say? <laughs> Who is the image of the invisible God? <laughs> oh. Colossians 1. Hold on now. Let me get this. Because I don't think I'm in the love. Yeah, God, God, no man has seen God with their own eyes. Yes, yes. That's good. 
See, that's good. Why he comes to Boston? Yes. <laughs> huh? Let's do 14. Good, there you go. Thank you. All right, we got redemption through Christ. Even the forgiveness of sin. Yeah. Who is the image of the invisible God? Now he's the image of the invisible God. When you see, that's what John, uh, what's his name? Uh, Thomas. He said, he said, Lord, uh, show us the Father. And Jesus said, when you see me, you see the Father. <laughs> <laughs> I've been a long time with you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, when well, you see me, you see the Father. Yes. Amen. Read. The firstborn of every creature. The firstborn of every creature. Read. For by him were all things made. No, no. By Christ was everything made. Mm. Read. That are in heaven. Huh? That everything is made by him. Everything in heaven. And that are in earth. That are in earth. Visible and invisible. Things that, are, that you can see. And things you cannot see. Yeah. Read. Whether they be thrones, uh -huh. or dominions, uh -huh. or principalities, yeah. or powers. Yeah. All things were created by him uh -huh. and for him. And for him. Amen. Amen. Everything. Yeah. Uh, so ought not we to study the life of Christ? Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. All things. He's the answer. Yes, he is. Uh, he's the answer to everything. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, now, is that the last of that verse? Oh, yes, that's the last of that. Uh, read the next verse. And he is before all things. Uh, he's before everything. And by him all things consist. Uh huh. And now, 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 by him all things are held together. Amen. He makes sense of everything. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Lord. Uh, I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, everything. Makes sense through Jesus. If you can see everything through the eyes of Jesus, then everything will be made sense uh, to you. Amen. Uh, my brother. I'm just thinking uh, because God is invisible. Yes. And we can't see Him. Uh huh. He needed somebody. Yes. To represent Him. Thank you, Lord. In His fullness. In His fullness. In His fullness. Yes. Thank you, Lord. To be his representation. Yes. In the physical realm. Thank you, Lord. The fullness, his divinity, huh? his glory. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. The, the Godhead. Huh? Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. My God. All right, my brother. Yes, yeah, so I was looking back at verse 16 um, when it talks about uh, thrones, dominions. Yeah. Principalities, powers. Yeah. And it says all things were created by him for him. Yeah. So, so good and bad, all, all, all principalities and Everything. all powers. Everything. It, it, he, it works for his will. Yep. So every, everything has a purpose in, for his will. Everything. Everything. He created good, he created evil for a reason, for a purpose. <laughs> Absolutely. 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 I, I, I was reading up, I, I even wrote that, that verse down. It was in Psalms, Psalms 33 and 4. You ain't got to go there. But read Psalms 30, 33. Amen. And, it, and God talks about how he, how he uses trouble to bring us into his will, yeah. to bring us into his desire. Amen. God, God uses those things. Amen. He's always in control. Amen. Hallelujah. And he uses those things to gain our attention. Uh, uh, when, we, when, we are, when we are going wayward, uh, going opposite of God, God will catch your attention and allow trouble and struggle uh, to get you back into his will. Yes. Amen. Have you ever thought about that scripture where it says, Lord, lead us not into temptation, uh, but deliver us from evil. What he's really saying is, Lord, don't allow me to be naughty and, and, uh, uh, and go into temptation 
And, 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 and you have to use that to bring me back. Man, wow. Huh? Don't allow me to give in to huh? my evil desires. Huh? That's wisdom, man. <laughs> Lord, help me. Yeah. Amen. Help me. Yeah. Uh, now, now, let's go over then to the book of St. John. St. John, chapter number. Before we go there, before we go there, let's go over to 1 John, chapter number. Chapter number one and verse number one. That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon, and our hands have handled of the word of life. For the life was manifested, and we have seen it, and bear witness, and show unto you that eternal life, which was with the Father and was manifested. With the Father and was manifested unto us. Read that again. That which was from the what? The beginning. Which we have what? Heard. Heard. Which we have what? Seen. Seen with our eyes. Which we have looked upon. And our hands have handled. Notice what he says. Of the what? The word of life. Amen. That's, that's, that's another name for Jesus. The word of life. Amen. Now notice. Read. What does it say? Verse 2. For the life was manifested. So the life was manifested. Jesus manifested. Amen. The life. Read. And, and, and bear witness. No, and we have seen. We've seen. And bear witness. We've seen him and we bear witness to him. Mm. Read. And show you that, that eternal life. And show you that eternal life. That's Jesus. That's another name for Jesus. He's the eternal life. What does eternal mean? Forever. Amen. Uh, always existed. Amen. Even his ministry. His ministry is after the order of who? Okay. Melchizedek. Amen. Who has no father, no mother, no ending, no beginning of days, no ending of days. Amen. Eternal. Y'all with me? All right, read. Which was with the Father. Which was with the Father. And was manifested unto us. Made known unto us. Read. That which we have seen and heard. Uh huh. That you, the reason why we declared it to you, so that you can have fellowship with us. And truly our fellowship is with the Father. Uh-huh. And with His Son, Jesus Christ. And that's what you want, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Read. And these things write me unto you, that your joy may be full. Uh-huh. This then is the message which we have heard of him. Yeah. And declare unto you. Read. That God is light. God is light. And in him is no darkness at all. Read. If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie. And <laughs> we do not the truth. My, my, my. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, yeah. we have fellowship one with another. Yeah. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. Uh-huh. If we say that we have no sin. That I have not 
once and never. We deceive ourselves. Who are we deceiving? Yes. Read. And the truth is not in us. That word is not in you. Read. If we confess our sins, yes. he is faithful and just to forgive us yes. our sins. Yes. And to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. My, my, my. my why not do that? All right, verse 10. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and the word is not in us. See that? And the word up is not in us. Amen. Christ is not in us. All right, now let's go over to John then. John chapter 1. Now, it's important then, it's important then for us to meditate on the Word. Yeah. In other words, to meditate on the life of Jesus. Amen? Why did He do what He did? Why did He say what He did? Amen? Why did He live like He did? Amen? Now, notice, read. Uh-huh. In the beginning was the Word. Now, John, John is talking here. Uh, he says, in the beginning was the Word. Amen. Read. And the Word was with God. Uh-huh. And the Word was God. Uh-huh. Now, uh, in the beginning, he's not talking about... Uh, uh, how we look at sometimes, uh, he's talking literally about the beginning of creation. Amen? Beginning of everything that, that, that was spoken and it came into existence. He's literally talking about the book of Genesis, chapter number one. Amen? That's just what this is coming from. Genesis chapter number one. Amen? All right, read that again. In the beginning was the Word. Now notice, the Word. The Word represents the Logos. The Word. Amen. The Word of God. That's where we get the word logic from. Amen. That's where we get the word logic from. Uh, and, and he says, in the beginning was the Word. The Word is a title given to Jesus. Amen. He mentioned earlier about, about uh, uh, Jesus being with the Father. Amen. Being with the Father. Uh, uh, be, when, when creation was made, when everything was brought into existence, Jesus was there. He's not a created being. Amen. He was there. Amen. And uh, the book of Proverbs. Proverbs uh, I believe it's chapter, uh, what is that? Chapter 8 and verse 22. If we were to go there, we don't have to go there. Y'all just, y'all just uh, either write it down or take the word for it. It talks about, it talks about a uh, 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 wisdom which is with God. Uh, and Jesus is the personification of the wisdom of God. Amen. By everything was brought forth. Amen. He was there. Amen. He was already there. Huh? And, 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 and Jesus said some things. He said some things to, to help us. He said, he said uh, I, I beheld Satan falling down uh, from heaven. Amen. And then he said something else. He said, before Abraham was, I am. Huh? And, uh, that, that gives us insight. Yeah. Uh, to let us to know. Amen. My brother. In John 17, he told he asked the Father to glorify me with the glory yes. that I had with you before the world began. Yes. Give me that glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. My God. Uh, uh, give me that glory that I had with you before the, before the world began. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Now, now, now we have to understand then, you know, uh, uh, Jesus did everything According to the Father. Amen. He has power to forgive. Amen. He has power to heal. He has power to deliver. Uh, as the Father. 
Amen. Like there's no difference between the two. Amen. No difference. Uh, he thought it not all robbery to be equal with God. Uh, there's no difference. Amen. None. Hallelujah. That's important. Uh, no difference. Uh, thank you, Lord. And 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 when Jesus uh, was made manifest in the flesh, uh, he said he said it, uh, uh, he humbled himself uh, and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Amen. Uh, because he had a mission to complete, yeah. an assignment to complete. Yes. Amen? Amen. To give himself as a ransom, a sacrifice. Yes. Uh, now notice, he knew no sin. He committed no sin. Uh, hallelujah. The Father can't commit sin. Uh, yeah, and know no sin. Uh, but Jesus, uh, as, as flesh and blood, was made sin for us. Yes. Huh? Huh? Yes. Hallelujah. Because he had to offer himself up as a sacrifice wow. for us. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. But he's holy. Huh? Yes. Divine. Huh? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. My God. All right. Let's see here. Where we at? All right. Uh, uh, yep. Uh, in the beginning was the word. Uh huh. And the word was with God. The word was God. Uh-huh. Now, now hold on. I wanna I wanna I'm gonna say this about Jesus and and and, and what he does uh, as the Logos. Uh, let's go over there to, to Genesis chapter number one. And, and the word was with God. He was with God. And the word was God. They were in relationship. No change. No difference. When you see one, you see the other. Yes. No variables. <laughs> I like that word. All right. What's the Genesis 1 say? In the beginning, God created the heaven and earth. And, uh -huh. earth. Uh -huh. and the earth was without form. Now notice, the earth was without form. Chaotic. Read. And void. And void. Empty. Amen. Read. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. Now, that's us. That's us. Before we come to Christ, we are void. What does it say? The earth was. The earth was without form. We have no form. And void. We have no form of godliness, mm. no form of holiness, mm. and we're void, empty, yes. and darkness is all over us, yes. in our mind, in our spirit. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. How many of y'all was like that when y'all before y'all came to Jesus? Yeah. I know we all better raise our hands. Messed up, jacked up from the floor. Uh, we need Jesus. Darkness. Amen. All of you. Read. What's that? And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the water. Uh, and the Holy Ghost moved upon you. Read. And God said. And God. Now here, hear what he said. He, God said. Let there be light. Let their light be light. And there was light. And there was light. Amen. And and that's symbolic. To the spoken word of Christ. That's Christ entering into you to bring you light. Amen? Uh, now, what is light? The word, or, or we could call it revelation. Uh, revelation. Understanding. Bringing, bringing into, bringing into form a chaotic life. Without Christ and his word, your life is chaotic. It has no meaning. It has no interpretation. Void, darkness is upon you. 
But when Christ comes, uh, he brings meaning to your life. How many of y'all been saved just for a minute and say, well, man, that makes sense now. Uh, things are, I, I understand now why I was acting the way I was acting. Uh, uh, why? Because light has entered in. Amen. Meaning has entered in. Amen. And that's Christ. Uh, he brings meaning. He brings purpose into your life. Amen. He gives you understanding. He gives you wisdom. And then he gives you insight. Amen. Amen. Insight. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Into the will of God. All right. Let's go back over to John. Yep. First John chapter number one. Y'all with me tonight? Amen. Hallelujah. So Jesus not only reveals the mind of God. But he also reveals the order of God. Amen? He reveals, brings order into your life. Yeah. Amen? He makes life worth living. <laughs> I read. You want me to read one again? Yes. That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon, and our hands have handled of the word of life. For the life was manifested. Oh, I'm sorry. I want to, I want to, St. John chapter number one. Yeah, my bad. John, John chapter number one. Amen. In order to, to hear them, 
you hear them with the intent to obey. Uh, anytime you have contact with the word, you should have it in your mind that I'm going to obey this word. Yes. Lord, reveal this word to me so that I can obey it, so that I can walk in the light and have life. Amen. 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 We don't read this word just as like a magazine, huh? as, a, as a good story, Amen. a, a, a newspaper. Amen. You read it to obtain life. Yeah. Yes. Uh, you read it to obtain reason. Uh, you read it so that you can interpret life. Uh, so that you can apply it to your daily situation. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So, so then when you do it that way, that's when the power of Christ is generated in your life. Lord, help us, Holy Ghost. All right? Read. What does it say? What verse we in? Verse 5. All right, verse 5. Read. What does it say? And the light shineth in darkness. Now, notice. Notice. Verse 4 says, In him was life, and the life was the what? Light of man. Let there be light. Amen? Huh? The light, the life, and the light are synonymous. Amen? And that all comes through the word. Read verse 5. And the light shined in the darkness. Now, the light penetrated darkness. Yes. Amen? And I used to think that this was a reference to uh, uh, me being in the world. But it's not a reference to me being in the world. It's a reference to me uh, 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 trying to understand God. And the reason why people don't understand God is because they walk around in darkness. Yes. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> darkness is chaos. Darkness is sin. Right. Amen? Amen? Darkness is evil. Yes. Huh? Huh? Go right over here. That says, hold that there. We're going to come back. St. John 3 and 16. Would you have it? 316. Because he said, if you love me, 
You'll do what? Keep my command. Keep my command. Amen? Amen. My brother? Moses said that sin is pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> pleasure. It's pleasure in sin. Yeah. All right, read. Men of darkness rather than light. Neither can men come unto the light. Uh oh, hold on. Verse 19. Uh huh. Yeah. And this is the condemnation that light has come into the world, and men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. Uh huh. For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light. Yeah. Neither come unto the light. Yeah. Lest his deeds should be reproved. Me, 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 neither be rebuked by it. Now, this is true. Amen. Some people. Don't want to receive truth. No. Huh? But it's still true. Amen. Right. Amen? Yeah. Now notice what he said. For everyone that doeth evil hated what? Right. The revelation of Jesus Christ. Yes. Amen? Amen? That his deeds may be made manifest. Oh, read, read verse 21. But he that doeth truth. Now, him that wants truth. That's us here tonight. Amen. We want the truth, don't we? Yeah. Uh, yeah. We, want, we want the word, don't we? Yeah. Uh, we want the mind of Christ, the spirit of Christ. Right. Don't we? Yeah. Uh, read. Come unto the light. Now, I come to Jesus. Uh, I come to him. I seek him. I call on him. I read about him. I meditate on him. Amen? And then I practice what he says. Am I right? Amen. Uh, that's, that's how you know I love him. That's how we know you love him. Amen? You do what he says. Amen. You're not conformed, but you're transformed by the renewing of your mind. Amen. Read what it says. That his deeds may be made manifest. Uh-huh. That they are wrought in God. What does that mean? Wrought in God. Wrought about in God. And and uh 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 orchestrated. By, yes. Initiated by God. Amen. The reason why I do what I do uh, is because God is leading me and guiding me. Yeah. Uh, he's the strength. He's the source of my life. Yeah. The reason why you should do what you do in godliness and holiness is because God, uh, uh, Christ in you, uh, you're doing all things through Christ. He's He's showing up in your life. He's giving you strength. He's giving you the power. He's giving you the anointing. Huh? Uh, why? Because, because you are one with him. Amen? You love the truth. You love the light. You dwell in the light. Huh? No darkness in you. Huh? Now, now, when it says, let's go back to John, John chapter number one. I'm starting to feel the Holy Ghost now. Y'all working on it. Uh, John chapter one, and it says, and the light, verse five, and the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness what? Comprehension is not special. Amen? Meaning that, 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 that the only truth that can penetrate darkness is Jesus. The light. Amen? Confucius can't do it. Buddha can't do it. Muhammad can't do it. Huh? Only the logos of this word can penetrate 
the darkness of one's heart and shine the light wherein they can have light to be saved. Huh? Y'all with me? Hallelujah. So, 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 uh, me reading help self books, self help books, ain't gonna get it. Uh, maybe some good information, but it's not bringing me life. Right. Huh? Me reading Covey's Seven Steps to, to Manhood ain't gonna help me. Huh? I gotta read God's Word to Manhood. Amen. That's it. My brother? All Buddhism really teaches is conformity to the natural world. Mm hmm. If you, if you really study it ever. I mean, it's mm -hmm. more of a. Its meditation forms are looking, being out in nature. Mm -hmm. But it's kind of a form of paganism, too, because it's also showing you to worship Mother Nature in yeah. a very sneaky way. Right. Now, notice what he said. It's kind of a form of. Huh? You have to go all the way. It's a form of. Yeah. Amen? Can't be, can't be half in and half out. Yeah. Uh, can't be hot or, or cold. Huh? You follow? You got you got you got you got to hit it where it is. Yes. Amen. Y'all y'all with me tonight? Because yeah. the truth says any other worship than the worship of God is false, yeah. idol. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I can't worship nature, no. even though God created it. Uh, I can't worship man, even though God created it. I can't worship the birds and the bees. Amen. Uh, and if and if I try to make it up in my mind to, to that's what we do. Huh? Uh, I, I, I like that scripture that talks about a fool has said in his heart that there is no God. Right. Amen. And if I can't get the, I need to read the whole verse. But it says, uh, basically, they make up stuff. Yep. They fill in the blanks. Wow. Yeah. Huh? So, so truth won't allow me to make up stuff. Right. Fill in the blanks to please my flesh. Yes. Amen. It's either right or wrong. Yes. It's either good or evil. Yes. It's either God or no God. Right. Yes. Amen. Yes. And I can't, I can't, I can't. Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost now. Yes. I can't pick something from Buddha and either mingle it with God yes. and call it holy. Yes. That's right. Amen. Huh? Can't do it. Can't do it. Can't do it. Amen. It's tainted. It's evil. Yes. Uh, when God told them, uh, gave them the formula for the anointing, and He said, "Don't counterfeit it either. Uh, don't don't try to make something similar to it. Uh, don't try to improve on it. Uh, what I gave you, that's what you use." Dagon. Yes. And they, God just kept knocking it over. Right. You know, and in other words, you can't put nothing next no, to me. No, no. You know, um, I'm going to give you insight. One of the reasons why Israel kept failing God is because they never totally did what God said. When he took them out of, of, of Egypt, put them over in the promised land, they were supposed to utterly destroy. Yes. Huh? The inhabitants, everything around. Them. Yeah. Huh? But what they do, they compromise. Amen. That's what the devil wants us to do. Compromise. Mm. <laughs> I'm teaching right now. Yeah. Huh? Don't compromise. Yeah. Huh? If God's word has said it, do it. Let the chips fall where they may. Yeah. Huh? Right. But let God be true and every man a liar. Yeah. Don't compromise. You gotta stand alone, stand alone. <laughs> hey! But isn't that what we're doing now? We compromise with people just to get along. Yep. You know, I know you ain't holy. Yep. I know you ain't living right. Yep. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna be in your company anyway. Yep. yep. I'm gonna hang around with you anyway. People do that. I'm compromised. People do that. Yeah. Now, now. Now that kind of depends in this sense. 
You know, Jesus ate with publicans and sinners for the purpose of trying to win them. Right. Yeah. But if I'm if I'm doing it just to be doing it, because because woo, here we go. Who I thought Holy Ghost again? If I if, if I'm doing it I'm trying to please my flesh, uh -huh. I, I, because I like it. Uh, if I'm doing it for that reason, yeah. that's a problem. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Israel, they, they also had, 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 had uh, you know, when they were in Egypt, right? right. They learned about their gods. Right. Huh? And they never separated themselves from their gods. Mm. Huh? Follow me? Yeah. So they kept the knowledge and understanding of their gods and tried to commingle that with worshiping the true and living God. Because mm. huh? every time you read the scriptures, it talks about Israel had the high places. Right. Huh? The high places were where uh, uh, they had altars to, to worship idol gods. They had statues and all that other kind of mess. Yes. Uh, where they went up there and offered sacrifices. Uh, compromise. Yes. Truth won't let you compromise. Yes. Truth will cleanse your mind. Yes. Uh, uh, swear to your own heart. Yes. Change not. Yes. Amen. Y'all want to do that? Yes. All right. That's good. All right. Now, notice. What verse we in, John? Six. Six. All right. There All right. was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness, to bear witness of the light, that all men through him might believe. Uh huh. Now, now, John came to bear witness of Jesus so that who? What? All men might what? Believe. What does the word believe mean? Consider it to be true. All right. Got to go a little further. If I say I believe it, according to the word, what am I saying? It's true. I trust it. You agree. I agree. I trust it. I accept it. And I obey. Woo! Oh my goodness! Woo! Woo! A lot of people believe Jesus is the Messiah, but they don't believe that He's the Messiah, Messiah, to the changing of their soul, to the changing of their lives. Amen. When y'all all came in here. And y'all believed that that chair would hold you up. And you came in and sat out with no problem. Huh? We should all have that same belief in Jesus. Huh? That I believe that he's the savior of the world. I should sit down in Jesus and rest without no problem. Huh? Yeah, he believed the devil believed he trembled. Huh? But he doesn't believe to the changing of his soul. Amen. Amen. That's godly belief. Amen. When you are converted, when you are changed, that's belief. Amen. Wow. This, this just came to me, Bishop. Like you said, there's an action with belief. Right. There's an action that comes with that. Yes. Other than that, it would have said belief. Right. Belief is just something you believe in. But belief is... Um, yeah. Action. Action. Purpose. You do it. Huh? You, 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 you grasp it, you understand it, and you involve it. You do it. That's what you believe. Amen? Yeah. Uh, I, 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 let me say that. Uh, you do everything you believe. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> Stuff you don't believe in, you don't do it. Now examine your whole day today. <laughs> huh? Everything. Huh? Now how much of that you were believing that you did was God? How much of that you believed that you did was ungodly?
This is a different type of Bible class. I didn't have this type of Bible class in my mind. <laughs> but you know, we got to let God be God. Yes. Yes. Amen? Yes. Sometimes we need a scrub. Yes. Amen? Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Sometimes we need that. All right. Read. Read what we read. Hey, read. He was not that right. Now, John the Baptist was that right. But was said to be a witness of that. Because he was the forerunner. Amen? Now, now, uh, this, this, is, this is an elevation of how important that light is. Yeah. Amen? The revelation of Jesus Christ is important because John the Baptist was the forerunner, uh, the ambassador, amen, to introduce Christ. Amen? And, 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 and John the Baptist was powerful in his own right. Yes. Huh? Even Jesus testified of huh? not, not a man, a woman, a, a man born, what did he say? He said, not a man born of a woman is greater than him. Greater than him. Yeah. Huh? Thank you, Lord. Y'all with me? Yeah. I read. That was the true light. Now, what is Jesus? The true light. He illuminates your mind. He brings he brings order to your life. Yeah. Amen. Without him, your life is chaotic. Y'all know that, that song we sing? My life was like a ship with a lot of sail tossed to and fro. Yeah. Huh? Without Jesus and his word, we have no power. We have no authority. But with Jesus and his word, we have power. We have authority. Huh? Do y'all believe that? Hallelujah. You got authority with him. Huh? You got power through him. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. You got you got reason. Huh? You can you can God can reason to your mind. Yes. Huh? And then you in turn, because Christ said, I know the thoughts of all men, you have discernment of other people. Now see, that's deep what I just said. Now, if you allow God to, to, to manifest his word by you meditating on him, he will give you insight into others so that you can be able to help them, so that you don't get angry and upset with them, so that you can be able to forgive them, so that you can be able to do the will of God despite them. We gotta have a part two. <laughs> we need, we need the meditation. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. I mean, Maria. That is the true light. Jesus is the true light. Which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. Now know He gives light to everybody that comes into the world. Does it? But he's only going to give it to those that receive him. Yes. Amen? If I reject him, I'm rejecting the light. Yes. Amen? I'm rejecting the light. I'm, re I'm rejecting the anointing. I'm rejecting the power. I'm rejecting my, my purpose. I'm rejecting God's plan. Huh? Y'all with me? Yeah. Can't reject it. I got to receive it. Yeah. Amen? I got to receive it. So the word of God said it's time to chance happened into the mall. Yes. You said we were predestinated. Predestinated. For the foundation of the world. Yes. Like you just said, everybody that comes into the world, <coughs> Jesus gives them light. Yep. Now whether they walk in that light. Is a choice. Choice. It's a free will. Free will. Right. You know, and, and those that walk in that light can be saved. Can be saved. Will yes. be saved. Mm -hmm. yes. But those that don't walk in that light. Will be damned. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, I can't say that. Will perish. Yes. Amen. Eternally separated from God. Amen. Amen. I can say that. Let's say that. <laughs> Be lost. Be lost. You know.
You know, I was, I was, I was reading the scriptures, and I forgot that that scripture was there. That, that, that there's going to be two resurrections. Yeah. Amen. He said, Jesus said, he told him, he said, going to come to the, the first resurrection. That's the resurrection of life. And then the second resurrection uh, is the resurrection of the damnation. Yep, in the first resurrection. Amen. That's so for me. Amen. Because I got to make it in this one. Amen. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I should, I should, I should ponder my end. Amen. Amen. I should think about that. What's it gonna look like? What they gonna say about it? What's, what, what, what God gonna say about it? Yeah. Huh? Amen. Follow? When I read that, it like shot through me. Now why, why would God do that to me? Why would he do that? Why would he have, why would he have me stop and pause upon that? In, in other words, why would God have, have you stop and pause on any part of the world? What did he give you? Serious. And in your age, you can teach us. Right. Yeah. This thing is serious. Yeah. Amen. So, so why would I treat it as though it doesn't matter? Yeah. Why would I treat this as though it doesn't matter? Mm -hmm. Why would I? Ah. Some people say, "Well, I haven't read in the whole week." So because I haven't read in a month. What's the seriousness of that? Because if you if you're not if you're not growing in him, you're growing away from him. The scripture says to stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Yeah. It's not talking about just stand there and do nothing. Right. Because either you're growing with him or you're growing apart from him. Yeah. That's true. Uh, when you don't read, when you don't pray, when you don't seek God and obey, uh, you're not growing in him. You're growing away from him. My sister? It's light. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. All right, read. Where we at? Verse 10. All right. He was in the world, and the world was made by him. All right. And the world knew him not. All right, now, now when he says the world knew him not, he's literally talking about... Uh, uh, those that are not a part of the kingdom of God. Those are not, have been born again. You hear me? Yes. Now, let me say that. If you follow the logic, those that are born again, that are part of the kingdom of God, should know him. Yes. Right? Am I right? And the only way to know him is through the word. Am I right? All right, read. He came to, unto his own. Now he came to his own. And his own received him not. They, they rejected him, the Jews. They rejected Jesus. Was that by design? Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. Why? Right. So now, because you know that, you don't get upset with the Jew. Huh? Because they were blinded. Huh? God blinded them. Huh? Now see, somebody said thank you because they understand the, 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 the meaning behind it. They were blinded so that we can be engrafted in. Get an opportunity. So I say thank you. Listen, they didn't, they didn't, they didn't want to be obedient either. They didn't. Right. They, they, you know, they yeah. right. want to do their own thing. Yeah. By design. By design. Right? So, so that's insight. That's knowledge. Then what else about that? So let's, let's not, not leave them hanging. What else is about the Jews? God is going to turn back to them. God is not unfair. Right. Woo! Don't say that. <laughs> that is true. It's all they said. Don't want to be shit. Don't want to be shit. Uh, so we got to get it right. Amen. 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 God is not unjust. Amen. He's not unjust. God is not unfair. Amen. All right, read. What's that? But as many as receive him. Now notice. But as many as receive the Logos, the Word, the Light, the Light. Read. To them gave he power. To them gave he what? Power. Power. To become the sons of to God. To become the sons of God. Read. Even to them that believe on his name. Now, to those that believe on Jesus, what he has said, what is written about him. Amen? You do those things. Let's go over there. To, uh, we're going to close it out. Matthew, I already quoted it. Matthew chapter number 7. Verse 24, what does it say? Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine, All right, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them, and what? And doeth them. And not being a forgetful hearer, but a what? <laughs> a doer. The same shall be blessed in all their deeds. Read. I will liken him unto a wise man. Now, that's a wise man. And we already defined what wisdom is. Right? Wisdom is the application of what you know and understand. Read. Which built his house upon a rock. Alright? And who's that rock? Jesus. Jesus. Amen? And so therefore, we are doing what? We're building. Amen? Are you, like that song said, are you building your hopes on things eternal? Amen? We're building. Amen? Oh, man. Ooh, I forgot one verse. Uh, in the book of John, see, God give, he, he, the way he teaches me, I ain't going to tell y'all. I ain't going to okay. tell y'all all my secrets. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. In John, we're talking about him building. Uh, in John chapter 1, back there. Uh, John chapter 1 and verse number 3. It says, And all things were made what? By him. By him. Everything was brought into existence. We're talking about building. Everything was brought into existence uh, with Christ. Right? Read. And without him uh -huh. was not anything made that was made. Now notice, he said, without him, there was not anything made 
That name there is brought into existence, right? That next name means, it, it's a different Greek word that means a, a continual process. A continual process. Meaning that uh, he, has, he has made, he's making, and he's yet to make. Let me say that again. Huh? Right. Behind everything. In other words, he has, he, has, he has brought into existence, he's bringing those into existence, and he's yet to bring into existence. Amen. Amen. So what are you saying? I'm saying this, that, that, that the Lord is not done with us. Amen. Huh? Huh? I, I, I thank God I'm not what I used to be. Yes. Huh? But, but I'm still travailing in birth until Christ be born in me. Huh? Then he said, anyone that have this hope in him, huh, does what? Purify himself. Uh, even as what? He can, come on here. He's still working on us. Yes. He's still working on me. Yes. Huh? Amen. Uh, he's still making me. Yes. Yes. Amen. When he said, let us make man in our image, in our likeness. Huh? That's, that's a continual work. Yes. Huh? And he got gold. How can I say it? I know it me. I'm going to testify myself. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. He ain't going to let me die until he dies. Uh, you can testify of yourself. Uh, that he ain't going to let you die until he dies. Amen. Huh? Come on! He'll perform until the day of Jesus Christ. Why? Because I believe. Why? Because you believe. Amen? Hallelujah. And I feel like Jacob. He said, Lord, I'm not going to let you go until you bless me. Huh? Amen. Hallelujah. He's working on it. Amen. Yes, he is. Amen. We finish reading that scripture, then we die. We got we got 30 seconds. I forget. 
Huh? Yeah, I think I'm all right when I'm all wrong. Amen? That's foolish, ain't it? 20 people tell you that don't match. And you wear it anyway. And think you look good. That's foolish. The word of God tells you 10,000 ways. Because if you really study the scripture, it's a really a repeat. Huh? To, to give it to you in different angles. Uh, my God, can I teach up in here? Because, because sometimes I can say, don't steal. Right? And he don't get that. Uh, and and then the Lord will tell you over here, uh, 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 don't 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 pick up nothing that belongs to you, huh? <laughs> you follow? And then sometimes we don't get that. Then he'll hit us in the head. Leave it alone. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Don't touch it. <laughs> touch not the unclean thing. Leave it alone. Huh? Right. We'll try to persuade you in a different direction. Absolutely, all the time. But sometimes we don't get it. So he gives us a different angle, a different view, so we can get it. Huh? Y'all with me? I was struggling. I was praying. Lord, move this. Move this for me. Do this for me. Then he said, gave it to me a different angle because I was struggling with it for so long. He said, look, I'm not going to move it until you do something. I said, oh. <laughs> 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 huh? like, like I've never heard it before. <laughs> huh? Yeah, a little light come on. So I, think it's, I think it he lets it stay there. It's, it's always to bring us to build godly character. Right. While you know, we, we might want him to take it away, but it's, he wants to do something through us in that. Right. He, in he, us. He wants us to work it out. Trust in his power. Mm -hmm. Amen. Be a witness to his, his glory. Yes. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, finish reading that, then we're going to go. Jesus. 